Welcome back to Rise Entertainment 360. The World Wide Web series has slowly taken over our streaming lives. Mm -hmm. And with the platform to showcase up and coming raw talent, it's no wonder people are tuned in season after season. So our next guest develop characters that everyday people with everyday struggles can relate to. Please welcome Eric J. Dinkins to the Arise 360. Hey, so guys, thanks for having me. How's everything Well, thank going? you for coming. Please tell us about Make Up to Break Up. Make Up and Break Up is um, a web series on YouTube and it channels seven individuals in New York City from Harlem to Brooklyn and we follow their lives, their dating lives and their career lives without within the society, today's society. So hmm. what's the key over here? Like I, I saw one episode, but what's the what's that thread that goes through it? What can everybody relate to? Um, everybody can relate to the makeups and breaks breakups of these specific situations. Um they're all in their like early they ranges from early twenties to thirties and you just see how people navigate through the city. Um, they don't spend a lot of time within their relationships trying to develop them. Mm -hmm. um, so if something doesn't work, they kind of move on to the next situation. So how long do they spend? What are we talking about? I would about? say a couple of months, maybe like six months. Okay. And if it doesn't work out, they pretty much move on. So six months to figure it out. Now I had a matchmaker tell me in the first seven seconds, if you don't know that person is for you, then <laughs> it's, it's over with. And that's seven seconds of that's meeting a person. But that also goes on aesthetic. Right, right. So once you get to know the person, then of course feelings can. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's I don't know if I have six need. months of feelings. It's, it's, oh, <laughs> oh. It's, it, it's, essentially, it's what you need at that specific time. So I mean, I would go a little bit longer than seven seconds. Okay, okay. But, uh, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Give me at least seven <laughs> right. days. But, right. Right. So we're looking at a clip from the first episode right now, where you know this young woman standing up against the wall. What what are we looking at right now? Just peek over it real quick. Yeah. Oh, okay, so this is the um, this is a special scene. It airs tonight for the season finale. Oh, oh so we have an exclusive. Um, and then one of our main couples within the series is Brooke and Spencer. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, they're like an old, they're an old flame kind of. They what went together or they dated rather in college. Like um, and here we fast for uh, ten years later, and they're still um, in each other's lives. But the catch is that Spencer was recently married. So, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can tell that it looks like both of them at one given time was really invested, and then right. the other one was, you know, really, and that's really in real life. One person can be all the way in and the other person is all halfway well, in. Well, when people give seven seconds and someone's <laughs> right. six months, <laughs> that, I can that get that, true. you know what I mean? That is so. true. But what was the process like to even develop these characters, like Spencer? Um, I just try to make sure that each situation is different. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot is taken loosely based off of real life situations, and okay. then you just play upon that and try to figure out a situation where you can, it's realistic. Uh -huh. So you don't want it to be over the top where you're showcasing somebody and, you know what I mean, it's just crazy, but you do want to relate to people's everyday lives. So right. I just take time to make sure that I um, do a lot of character development for each character within the series. And for those who haven't seen it, um, can you just go over some of the parameters? So how long is the actual episode, mm -hmm. and then how much does it cost to produce? Because there are a lot of people yeah. who are eyeing you right now, like, oh my mm -hmm. God, I want to be like this man. It takes a lot of time. Essentially, before I started shooting, um, I saved for maybe like two years almost. Okay. Mm. Um, and you can shoot an episode anywhere from 500 to $1,000, depending on uh, what type of cinematographer that 500, you 500000 or $500? No, no $500. $500. <laughs> Dallas. Yeah, 500 <laughs> I would say $1,500, um, mm -hmm. yeah. depending on your DP for that specific episode. Um, each episode can range from 18 minutes to 30 minutes, depending mm -hmm. on how much content or how much how long the script is for that specific episode um, so we always try to stay within those parameters um, kind of get in and get out just to keep the viewer um, hanging on the edge of their seat for the next um, for the next episode to drop now I'm glad you mentioned money because mm -hmm. one of the things I know about web series is like you said the low cost the low production but it's also really innovated with raw talent and Issa Rae mm -hmm. who we know right. Miss Awkward Black Girl herself yeah. who now has Insecure which is HBO's star baby it's almost like when you see these web series coming on, is that your goal line? Is that what you really want to reach? Absolutely. Um, the end goal is to get off of YouTube um, and get to a network. Yeah. I think that's what we all strive for. Um, and you just try your best to do do what you can with what you have and hopefully, you know what I mean, it, it could mirror television. And so if somebody sees that and they can see your potential, then maybe we can all get off of YouTube or any other streaming platform and make it to network. But so much is happening at the network, so much, so much attention with streaming. Can you give us any indication? In fact, we're looking at a clip right now, and yes. I actually, this is pretty. W describe what's happening in this clip right now. Um, it's a situation where her significant other, who is Blake um, Brooke, who's the star, one mm -hmm. of the stars of the show, she um, came to visit her and told her that she was with child and that Blake could possibly be the father. So um, she's trying to figure out if she wants to stay within the relationship or she wants to move forward. 
Um, so who helps you with writing these yes. in depth lines? I know you said a little bit about real life, right. but and it could be your own experience. But no. what is the right? Okay, <laughs> oh. what is the writing process like? Um, I usually write on the weekends, um, like three hour blocks. Um, okay. And it probably takes me three days to cover an episode. Okay. Um, so I do a couple of rewrites. And you do all the writing by yourself? Yes. Wow. That's very, very I'm impressive. I'm telling you. Yeah. That's it's cool. Yeah. It's a stress reliever for me. So. so how many have you produced so far? Because this is, you know, you, you're doing two. this. Mm -hmm. So each season ha um, is equipped with nine episodes, and we're on season two. Mm -hmm. Season finale airs tonight at um, 8 p.m. So. Okay, pause. <laughs> you try to go over that a little bit. Say it again. Season two airs when? The season finale for season two airs tonight at 8 p.m. via YouTube. So it's interesting because mm. obviously you're going to drop it at 8 o'clock, mm -hmm. but it's going to be there for someone to... Right. You can yeah. always go back and binge. You can binge watch, watch the first season. You can catch up on the second season. It lives there for the entirety. And how many people are clicking on it? Um, well, we have almost 20,000 subscribers, and we, we hit a million views, I would say, two months ago. So it's doing pretty well. That's pretty... It's impressive. It's really sort of extraordinary right now. Yeah. And what about the future? Obviously, the finale is ending tonight. Mm -hmm. Is there another season in the works? We're hoping to come back for season three. Um, we're doing crowdfunding for that, so hopefully that goes um, successfully. Uh -huh. And then you'll never know. You should, you hopefully you'll see us again for season three. So with the crowdfunding, and you look for investors. Who are you actually targeting to invest into your product? Anywhere from sponsorships to your general public to the viewers. So a lot of times the view, the viewers take um, a liking to your content and they'll invest. And you do crowdfunding pages such as Indiegogo.com, GoFundMe, things of that nature. Fascinating. So I actually want to meet some of the you know, stars of your show. We're going to take a short break right now, but when we come back, we actually get to meet some of the actors. Yep. They're here. They're yeah. here, and they're going to join us with more Rise Entertainment 360. Stay tuned. This good is job. good stuff. Yeah. Welcome back. We're continuing our conversation with Eric and two of the actors from the web series Break Up to Make Up, Kamel Goffin and Omar Salmon. Welcome, <laughs> gentlemen. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you. So Eric kind of mm -hmm. filled us in the world of web series, as far as funding, as far as writing, but what drew you guys to these characters? Um, well, for me, Eric called me about the show, and, uh, you know, we get typecasted sometimes, and a lot of independent stuff, they kind of wanted me to play, like, the thug or the oh. drug dealer. So he, he told me, he was like, I just want you, you want to be a husband. I was like, oh, I could be a regular person. I want in. Yeah. Like, so let's do it. He sent me the script, and I was all for it. And what about you? Yeah, once he uh, sent me the script, um, I read it, I fell in love with it, and I just liked the fact that Blake uh, loved love, <laughs> and then mm -hmm. I, was, I was all in, yeah. you know? So that was it for me, it got me. I'm struck by what you guys say that, you know, in the world of web series, you can actually be a more complex character than just playing the thug, right. or this sort of violent person. Um, how is that, how do you think that resonates with the viewers? I think it, it well for for this web series in particular it, it it focuses on the regular everyday people because a lot of times when, when when we make content black people make content it's either we're very successful or we're hood. Yes, right. Right. So he he focused on the in between and we get to live in that world of everyday people that people can relate to. So that that's kind of what drew me to it because it's like you it doesn't matter who's watching it you're gonna be able to say I know that person mm -hmm. I've been in that situation. That's me, that's my mother, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it, it gives everybody a, a, a clear, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things when we say about relatable and we talk about the writing and as you see saying being typecast, when you think about web series, the goal is for some to be picked up. Right, right. So what exactly is your goal for your character? Do you want to see it on a streaming service such as a Netflix or Hulu? Is it to go to a big screen? Is it to be in a Sundance? Like, what is the goal for like, Break Up to Make Up? I would say all of the above. Um, Netflix is amazing at this point. It's a, good, it's a great platform as well as Hulu. Um, we would either want that platform or network television. That's, mm -hmm. what, uh, that's what we're gearing up for. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully things pan out. Mm -hmm. But do you really want the network television model right now, or do you want sort of that streaming? Because that's there's so much money. Like yeah. if you could, I mean, obviously any deal is a good deal, right? right? Wait, hello. But <laughs> if you had that wish, if that was that one place where you want to be, do you want to continue with your web roots, just with uh, much more funding, or do you want to be on that legacy? I would say Netflix um, at this time because you have more creative control over exactly. what you can do. Exactly. Um, and once you finish shooting everything, you hand it over and you can move on to another project. Um, a network is cool if you get on the cable side mm -hmm. um, for like an HBO or Showtime or a star. So either or um, would work, but I would prefer a Netflix model. Mm -hmm. 
and the people are so spoiled with binge watching right. that, mm. you know, it takes right. the pressure off a little <laughs> bit where you just can give yeah. them the whole season at one time. Now, let me tell you about binge watching because, Omar, <laughs> I don't know about you, yes. I will not watch anything from top to bottom. I just won't do it because I just feel like in the day of the old times, you had to wait every week to every wait for the week, next Cosby. Seven seconds yeah. of the <laughs> <laughs> you had to wait. So it's like, I'm not going to watch all 10. I'm going to do three and I'm going to come back to it and I'm going to do But in the wake of all that, now I'm talking about me personally, what have you been doing as far as acting? It's what drew you into this? Um, well, honestly, what made me actually start um, acting, I remember watching Malcolm X and uh -huh. um, Denzel Washington. 1992. Um, uh -huh. Once I saw him, I was like, I have to be on this. Yeah. I have to be in front of the screen. You know what I mean? I was just so moved. I actually thought Denzel was Malcolm X at mm -hmm. the time, and yeah. I couldn't put it together. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, I couldn't put it together <laughs> that uh, the person that they were showing at the at the end with the credits that wasn't Denzel. I was like baffled. So mm -hmm. that's what actually drew me to it. And then um, I actually I started uh, I started in background work um, over ten years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was on set of Boardwalk Empire, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I need to be in front of that camera. So then I started doing theater plays and I started doing uh, student films and things like that, of that nature. And I just fell in love with it. And ever since then, I've just been off running. Off running. Mm -hmm. you know, so we are a global broadcast. Mm -hmm. We have a huge audience in Africa and parts of Europe as well. Mm -hmm. In terms of the web series and, and for the actors, what do you think that you showcase to the world and to the African diaspora? We showed them real life. We showed them real life. Um, it's uncut on, on makeup and breakup. You know, it's it's real life situations, like we said, and we showed them that it should be some kind of solution in some of the things that you go through. We hope to inspire. Mm -hmm. yeah. We hope to help make decisions. We, especially with my character, we hope mm -hmm. that men deter themselves from being foolish and <laughs> throwing in a star player for somebody sitting on a bench. So it's uh. just, you know, it's 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 it's, it's inspiring, man, and. and we, I'm just glad to be a part of it, actually. <laughs> and actually, the, a lot of the viewership is from Africa, so mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. dope because you can read the comments and actually see them shouting out their country that they come from. You know what I mean? So it was great. And you know what? That was my next question, but we're going to have to wait till we come back from break, mm -hmm. so don't go anywhere. You stay there, too, and we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360. It's exploding yeah, right now. Yeah. Africa, so. yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to Rise Entertainment 360. Now, we told you don't go anywhere because we are joined by the cast and the mm. director of Break Up to Make Up, the web series, <laughs> currently on YouTube. YouTube. But what were the things we wanted to ask about the viewers? And we uh, mentioned that you have a lot of viewers that make these comments. How is it that when you see them, do you get mad at it? You're like, you don't know oh, what man. goes into the process, or right. is it really inspiring? It depends on what day you're having. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can read it. Um, a lot of the comments are positive, so the good always always the bad uh, sometimes when you know like it's something that you could have did better and you see somebody it's always that one person yes. that sees it you're like oh man like you know what i mean they picked up on it but i mean you just don't take things personally it comes with the territory yeah what about you Kamal? it's it's good preparation because mm -hmm. if you can't take it on in youtube with the little bit of comments like a couple hundred it's no way you're gonna be able to take it with thousands and the hundreds of thousands that'll come from when you get on a big stage so yeah, sometimes it's kind of hard to see people talk about people you know on a yeah. personal level where they saying personal things it's not about yeah. the character mm -hmm. and it, sometimes I want to respond I'm like no don't do that mm -hmm. you know so it's, it's kind of tough sometimes but it come with it you know who you're giving me a little bit you're channeling a little bit I know you mentioned Denzel but you're giving me his son from Ballers uh, oh. yes you get that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you're a twin yes. you, yes. Are. Yes. you are you oh, are you are his, his name is escaping me but you are him <laughs> look he, he is you <laughs> look I just need a check he getting checks <laughs> So if you need somebody that's like him, holla at me. Yes, mm -hmm. it's coming. Well, so what issues? Oh, go ahead. I'm no, sorry. No, I was Ron, curious, Romar. So are there any elements about your character that people often miss or they don't they don't see as clearly? Oh, man. Because <laughs> I'm always thinking, like, there's that something that, you know, on the fifth <laughs> viewing, maybe I'll pick it up. <laughs> right. But it's really, really critical. Is there anything? Uh, I just think they don't understand the fact that Blake is just a guy who is just, he's trying to understand himself, mm -hmm. you know, um, and... He, he just loves to love, right? Which can be a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Because uh, while he's f trying to find love, um, he can be moving on from situation to situation too fast. Mm -hmm. But then at, the, at another point, um, when he's invested in someone, you can see how much he really cares, how much he really wants to be with this person, how much he really wants to take care of this person, and uh, uh, just that energy that he loves to share. I think they missed that point of him 
being so invested in someone and uh, uh, caring for them that they just criticize him about um, um, always yeah, being baby. too emotional. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, they say he's he's too emotional, and I'm like, what is that? Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Like we're all emotional at some point. Just like point. a lot of us walk around with the cover. That's you know it. What I mean? yeah. uh, he but just he wears it. His, yeah, he wears his arms. And sleeve. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> so what's next for break up to make up? Make up and break up. <laughs> 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 we keep, we keep the laughing name. because <laughs> we keep saying it wrong. We're going my way. It's all good. It's all good. Hopefully season three. I'm gearing up for that. We usually start in September, which is the fall, lining up with fall television you know and just continue on oh uh, right. well we're going to be watching and thank I know you so much thank thank you, man. Man. I really appreciate you yes. so much and what is it again because I keep messing make it up make up to break, break up make make up. Up. Break up. Break up. Up. up because I keep thinking of the song break up that's why and that's probably why I keep saying it season finale at night 8pm Okay. All right. Thank All you right. so much. So that Thank does you. it here for Arise Entertainment 360. I'm Duarte Geraldino filling in for Shannon Lanier. And I'm Jessica White filling in for Katora King. And we will see you tomorrow. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. Miss seven seconds. Yeah, right. It's all good. I know. I'm improving you. I really was thinking of break up to make up. <laughs> <laughs>